Hi students, uh, welcome to my lecture on uh, process plant operator training using a simulator. In the last video, we have discussed about the how a pressure is maintained in a vessel using PI controller. Okay, and today we are going to discuss about maintaining the level. Okay, because earlier before to the pressure control, we have discussed about the on off controls. On off controls, uh, no, it's not a used for the precise control uh, these I mean, because we have shifted to the p and pi controllers because precise control is necessary and today we go to discuss about the level control let's go to the simulator window okay this is how the simulator windows look like and let us observe what are the things i mean that were given and uh, there is a line that goes to the unit A to the unit B, okay. Unit A, which is at the 10 atmospheres, unit B at the 8 atmosphere, there is mention, okay. The process stream from the unit A comes to the manual control, manual valve, okay. Presently, the manual valve is 50% open. Uh, uh, with this 50% opening condition, the flow to the vessel is around 2500 kg per hour. Okay, presently the tank level is maintained at, uh, uh, it is given the process value is 4.18. So, the present the tank level is a 4.18 occupied. Okay. And the outlet to the tank is uh, connected to a controller. And uh, we'll later figure it out what kind of controller it is, a P or PI or PID. See, the outlet from the vessel is controlled by the control valve. Okay. What is the objective? The controlling level in the tank to around 47.18%. Suppose uh, what happens is uh, because it's an extended version of con don't worry, don't get scared about this image. It's very simple image uh, the level transmitter. That means the measurement of the level in the tank will be uh, does by the sensor uh, and it, the sensor signals the level and it uh, sent a signal to the level transmitter. What level transmitter will do? The level transmitter will generate a signal based on the level of the tank. Currently, it is generating 11.32 milliamps. Now, this uh, signal goes to the signal distributor and signal, what is the job of the signal distributor? Is to convert this uh, amps to volts. That means current to the voltage signal. With uh, respect to 11.32 milliamps, the voltage was generated around 2.83. Then it goes, this 2.83 signal goes to the controller. Okay. Now this controller will perform the action depending upon the voltage it is going to get. Okay. Depending upon this uh, voltage, the P, whether it's a P, let me check what kind of controller. It's a PI controller. P is 50, I is 60. Okay. This PI controller uh, will detect the signal, uh, voltage signal and produce the current signal. Current signal is produced 10.40. Now this 10.40 signal goes to the IP converter. IP converter as I have discussed, it converts the current to the pneumatic signal. Okay, uh, this pneumatic signal because depending upon the current it receives, it is going to supply certain amount of pressure of air into this particular control into valve where the valve opening will be decided currently the signal ip converter uh, depending upon this 10.40 it is producing the i mean uh, air supply pressure of 7.8 so depending upon this 7.8 psi the valve opening now is 40 percent open okay Presently, this everything is happening at the steady state. That is the inlet kg per hour, which is around 2500 kg per hour, is equal to outlet, I uh, know, 2500 kg per hour. Everything is happening at steady state. Very good. Nice. Okay. Let us give a disturbance. Disturbance uh, in such a case, it's a call of regulatory problem. So, if the moment, what I do is I disturb the system. Currently, it is a 50% open, the hand indicating control valve. If so, let, uh, uh, let us assume, uh, uh, now I'm going to disturb the system uh, with 60. And what your job, students, you have to observe each and every you no know, value that is changes that are occurring in the system, including this manipulated valve opening. Okay, this manipulated valve. Currently, it is the valve is 40% open. Okay. Check each and every parameter, how it is going to get changes. Okay, let me change 
uh, let me give the disturbance now I am disturbing the system which is 100 now it is 60 percent okay 50 to 60 okay the moment I give 50 to 60 see everything how it is going to change now the level will because I have given more opening there is more flow into the system the tank level starts to raise according the signal will change the controller the process value is beyond the set, set value is 47.18 the process value is 47.3940 because there is more flow into the system accordingly the controller will generate some signal here according to the value opening you can see earlier it was 40 percent open now it is 41.36 because there is more flow into the system automatically the more uh, a valve will open more compared to the earlier position earlier it is 40 now it is 42 okay and if you wanted to see the trends this is the trends you see okay uh, there is a i mean a bit of disturbance let us plot the trends and you're gonna observe this is how i normally plot the trends okay level indicating controlled uh, process value and set value uh, if i see double okay set value i wanted to see and let's set value okay and rest everything i'm going to click off in the system okay i wanted to see these two things only okay let me if you see here the process now the the this one li is a process value the this particular color let me give you a number code okay now there is a small rise in the level that has been taken place which is 47 point you know um, something which is beyond the set value is 47.18 now controller will slowly take the action to bring it back to the normal level okay that is what the job of a controller because of this increase in flow because i have because i have opened 60 uh, percent now uh, what is steady state condition now the uh, inlet what how much is 29988 inlet inlet should be matched with the outlet now the slowly this uh, is going to get matched you now because at a steady state inflow kz per hour should be outflow kz per hour so accordingly the control see the control is taking the action if you want me to bit uh, fast forward the things let me fast forward okay then see the trend window okay now everything got settled out uh, because i'm a phosphor because slowly it is coming back it is around 3000 let us see it is also going to get 3000 uh, no okay yeah now we're trying to come back uh, to the match suppose if more flow i mean happened again it will come back again increasing decreasing increasing decreasing things will happen see there is a fluctuation that is happening earlier we have raised the process value the level has been increased and again the level is decreasing because the, the controller right now is trying to stabilize itself because ultimately the job is the process value should be matched to the set point what happens are positive deviations to the controller negative deviations to the controller everything that is why you see the fluctuations here here nicely uh, you can observe the fluctuations if you wanted to reduce these fluctuations i wanted to either increase the integral action or derivative action so that the process will be easily controlled now you see i switch to the pid control now okay i'll go back to the window i'll do the controller tuning now i'm gonna put some derivative action okay now it is became a pid controller let us observe Go back to the control window. Sorry. Yeah, graphic window. Now, if you see the trend, okay. Now, uh, it is taking much more quicker action, okay, because PIDs are much more efficient than PI. See how good a simulator platform is allowing us to go for switch to P controller, PI controller aspects imagine now uh, i will put only p controller here okay let us put zero i p not p this is i zero d zero see what is going to happen see the moment i have changed uh, to p and i controllers okay 
let us see the process value process value will be highly fluctuating you see only proportional controller is a bad controller because it will overreact sometimes okay uh, see what happens to my trend window okay. yeah. it will take some time to update here but if you go to the control window you will understand see the fluctuations earlier is the process value now it will go top down top down that means even the smallest change is there automatically the control will react to de decrease the reactivity i need to increase the number okay, okay it is said that alarm high 80 okay go to the alarm okay whenever you feel that some alarm is getting triggered you need to see what red one tank oil level high okay lic 001 okay low that means it is showing some indications level indicating controller no issues there okay because it is, it is high and low that means it is fluctuating too much and uh, cfic 002 either is going very high value and low value here so that is why normally proportional only proportional controller will not does a job it is in combination with the integral controller so that the error will be reduced okay hope you understand and uh, it is easy for any simulator training uh, so you see again i'll come back to the normal startup mode design condition the moment i click this button automatically everything now it will be on a starting position see everything okay I'll see. Okay. Okay. So everything in the studies. That means I can restart the program. So earlier we what we have seen. Uh, um, what we have seen. This is a regulatory problem. If, let us see the servo problem. Servo problem is the moment I wanted to set point because uh, now I'm maintaining it for level tank level at forty seven point one eight percent. Now I wanted to change to fifty. Fine. Okay. Fifty-five percent. What happens? Observe everything. The flow has been reduced because in order for me to raise the level of the tank, the outlet flow should be reduced. That is what happens. The inlet flow is two thousand five hundred around. The outlet flow now it is around low level. So that the tank level will slowly rise. See the tank level is rising. Forty-eight. Okay. 49, 55, everything is going to happen. This comes under the server problem. So the controller is doing its job well. Okay, thank you. Let us meet with the one more module on um, other kind of controllers. Till then, this is Dr. Surindra signing off. Thank you very much.